Percy Worst and Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific. So let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Yes, hello, this is Eric with RC Worst, and uh, today we'll be going over another video on how to do uh, ref edit in uh, AutoCAD. So today I've uh, had this set up, and uh, it's going to be a basic kind of a septic tank, uh, dose tank situation. And uh, so what we do is uh, we can adjust these real quick. However, this part of the uh, septic tank looks just fine. This side, however, doesn't look so great. We need to align the uh, outlet and modify the septic tank to have the uh, different outlet. Also, the bio tube, the uh, pump bolt, needs to be taller so it doesn't tip over inside of the dose tank. Also, uh, floats need to be adjusted. There's uh, quite a bit of work to be done. So um, let's get that going real quick. As, uh, as you can see, this dynamic block doesn't really seem too dynamic. It's uh, not really giving us any real options on uh, what to do. So with that, go to our uh, trusty friend, the ref edit. Type in REF, enter or space, and this is going to come up with um, this screen. And in an earlier video, I uh, explained that this left-hand video, uh, excuse me, left-hand um, option menu is going to become more useful. And uh, this is exactly the time where it comes becomes more useful. So here, this is a block within a block. Uh, these two blocks come up to make the master bio volt. And uh, this is what we need to uh, modify here. Yes, we want to break that link. So we're not modifying all of the blocks being used throughout our uh, drawings. And so now, as you click on these, far more options are coming up. So uh, first of all, we can hit the uh, PVU 68, which seems to be size is right. Uh, let's adjust this vertical one first, just like in everything else. Uh, adjust the top one and uh, work your way down. Well, this is good. However, this seems to be uh, quite crowded. And in fact, the uh, standard right-hand discharge is going to be uh, a little bit uh, cramped for us. So what we can do is that we can have the one inch turn top and that will allow us to uh, turn this just like we would when we're installing uh, the uh, bio tube into a uh, a proper septic tank, dose tank in this instance. Just the outside. And in the turn top, we can adjust this elbow behind. So to create some of that force perspective here, uh, we can create this going on. Uh, we will want this to be in line with the uh, outlet. We'll change this, but we can come back. We want essentially just the basics right now. Uh, of course, later on, we'll finish the tubing uh, forces behind. Uh, so what else can we do? We can do the uh, the um, the floats, set those. Normally what I do is uh, create uh, hidden lines to show the indicated uh, uh, levels for the floats. We generally want these, the alarm to be within two inches. And then of course, this uh, off float above. And uh, on rcworst.com under any of the PVUs, uh, excuse me, PF uh, series effluent pumps, there will be a, a minimum liquid level. And you'll want to uh, take note of that as you're setting up these drawings. So uh, we don't recommend uh, anybody using these uh, when this motor and pump aren't submerged properly.
So, well, now this is done. This is, was looking a lot better. However, there's still a few problems with this. Um, the elbow for one, the cross lines here on these floats need to be uh, trimmed out uh, just to make things look just a little bit cleaner. Uh, for now, we'll uh, go through the assumption that these are set properly without uh, going off of the uh, trim lines. And these uh, grips being here are very convenient that when you do have that cross line, you can line them up directly with the um, the lines, uh, perpendicular grips, and uh, line these up perfectly with the center point. A little bit of a computer lag. So with this, we uh, can hit save changes. Yes, we want to save changes. And um, one thing that we can do, come up with these, uh, the support uh, tubing here. Yeah, artistic interpretations here. I want that to be off, that just a bit. There we go. And of course, the other one will be uh, hidden, so we'll repeat that command. Some of the joys of working in uh, Google Drive. Any warnings come up? Uh, let's clean this up just a little bit. All right, well, that looks pretty good. So now, to clean things up, we do the rest edit again. Click on this, and this time we'll be doing the Arenko high head, the uh, one of the sub blocks within this. And yes, we want to break that link. So now, as it stands, the parent block, uh, the master bio vault, is has a broken link. It is its own entity now. And now we just broke the uh, Arenko high head uh, link. So now it's its own uh, entity at the moment. Uh, but this will uh, give us the ability to do uh, trim lines, clean things up, make them look good. And uh, for that, this is complete. Save changes. Yes, we want to change, save changes. Now we can do a ref edit again and do it on this bio vault. At this point, hopefully everybody is the relative master at using the ref edit command. That's uh, something that we'll be using a lot when you use blocks. So that just gives a nice clean look for this whole system. And uh, save changes once again. And uh, now, finally, we do a ref edit on the septic tank itself. And this will give us a nice, clean look. Being careful not to uh, delete our concrete hat. Looks like it survived. Extension line. Clean that up. Save changes. So now we can get the penetration fitting. Call out the appropriate one, inch and a quarter press seal. There we have it. Uh, so here we can go forward, do a uh, ref edit here, have the uh, finished grade with this uh, one of the far more simple and uh, effective blocks that uh, that we have is just the common dirt. And so this, you want to line that uh, that grip with where you want the edge, edge to be, uh, be it on the left or the right side. 
uh, with this sign being we wanted at the left. Well, this uh, has really been set up for uh, the minimum distance between uh, the offsets on the riser tubes. I'll show you here. Set that up, and then the uh, distances are, are a lot better. On this side, admittedly, it was uh, a little bit misaligned. There we have it. This is a uh, kind of more advanced view of ref edits and uh, how to use them, where to use them, and uh, different uh, options on how to make these blocks more of an effective tool for you. Thank you so much, and uh, please like and subscribe.